show you how to prepare and cook super worms. First, you will need to sieve through the super worms to take out the whole substrate. I prefer to take out the whole substrate that the worms in just to keep the setup a lot cleaner. Now you can transfer the super ones back into the other table. Next, you will need a few spoons of oatmeal. You will need about 6 heap tablespoons of oatmeal. Now you will need to microwave it for about 2 minutes to kill all the mite eggs that are inside. As the oatmeal has cooked down, you can empty it into the wood. This thing that you're going to keep in your the super ones. Like Once the oatmeal has cooked down, you can add some chopped carrot slices into the tank. Now you can add your super worms into the tank. You should start eating almost immediately as you can see with this super worm here. I will leave them under here for one week. After one week of gut loading the super worms, you can now remove them and put them in a separate container. I have emptied out all the super worms from the tank. Next, empty out all the oats from the tank into a bag. After you have emptied out the tank of any food, you can proceed to release the super worms back into the tank. They will rest in this tank for 2 days without food so that the system will be cleared out of any feces. After 2 days, we can now uh, sieve out all the feces and prepare them for freezing. Now sieve out all the feces and pick out any dead skin or dead worms. Now that you have transferred the clean super worms into a small bowl, you can cover it up. Now you can put it into the freezer for 30 minutes so that they will sleep. After 30 minutes, you can remove the worms from the freezer and pour them into boiling water. The worm should be asleep by now. Now pour it into the boiling water. Boil it for 2 minutes to kill all 
any parasites inside the worm. After two minutes of boiling, you can pour out the water from the pot. Now, pour the mims onto a towel to dry them off. Dry off all the water or it will splatter in the oil later. Now pour in some oil into the pot. Next, pour in the dry milk superworms into the oil. Fry it on low heat or it will pop. Remove the superworms from the oil into a paper towel. Add some salt for seasoning. You have your fried superworms. I'm going to try the fried superworms now. It really tastes like peanuts. <laughs> Salty peanuts. And a bit like fish. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed.